wanted to give a quick update on something. Something that is hiding in these boxes. I'm always in a bit of a conundrum because in the title you have already seen that we will be talking about alien drives today. But still I feel I have to start pretending nobody knows what will happen. To spice things up this time I will not. So let's get the drives out of the boxes. Where two weeks ago I showed how not to ship old computers with the 10 1400 HD that was abused by the Dutch postal service, the seller of these drives packed the drives very well. I'm so happy to be adding these to my collection. I bought them from someone on the Dutch version of eBay, as a matter of fact the same seller as the Victor 9000 and some other stuff. These were never listed because the seller offered them to me. I asked him a while back since he was selling an old collection if he also had agent drives in it. He told me who would look and a couple months later he sent me a message with pictures of the drives asking me if they were the ones I was looking for. And well, <laughs> sure I was. So here is the first drive. The belt is loose but luckily not made from rubber as I hate cleaning up perished rubber. PCBs look really nice. We will take a closer look in a second but first let's take the other drive out of the packaging. The drives are so big, it's incredible. This one appears to be held in a pillowcase. This drive still has a bezel on it that is damaged a bit, which is no problem since I will have no use for the bezel. I can only dream of what type of computer these have belonged to. Should have asked the seller, but I suspect he will also not know. This drive appears to be in better shape than the other one, except from two or maybe three things that are obviously damaged. This was one of those purchases that made me aware again of my tendency of inspecting the pictures more closely after the deal has been made, because the damage on this drive I only noticed after the money had already been transferred. Not a big deal as I still see this as a good deal, since I paid a very nice price for them. Certainly taking the incredible prices being asked for them on eBay into account, with the emphasis on being asked as I'm not sure what they are currently selling for. This board fell out of the drive, I'll have to find out where it belongs. Here are the drives next to each other. This motor is loose on the drive and here is another part missing that I'm not sure yet what it is. Because 8 inch disc drives are a very new technology to me. What a sentence to be said in 2024. Let's insert a disc just to see what it's like. The mechanism stays down. It's clear that there is a lot of dried up lubrication on it. Pressing the eject button opens the drive but doesn't eject the disc. Although the second time it did. The other drive. Now you can see that close to the reed head there is a piece missing. This is a new disc by the way, not one with special information on it. I was happy to see that on this drive that the belt is still intact, which hopefully will make fixing them a lot easier. You can see here that it makes the parts spin. A nice shoe guard I see. One thing I still have to find is a connector that will fit on the 50 pin cartridge connector. The cable used in my Sanyo MBC 3000 is a different one. I think one of the first things that needs addressing is this rust like substance on the metal parts. I hope that this will clean off nicely but I fear that I jinx it by saying that. The main reason I got these drives is to see if I can archive my P5000 discs that I got some time ago. And of course some other discs in my collection. But first I'll have to find out if the drives are even compatible with the discs. That we will look at in a future video. Same applies to fixing the drives. I hope that these two drives can merge together into one functioning one. When it comes to that we will dive a little bit deeper into model numbers etc. For now I will have to go and watch a lot of YouTube videos about this type of drives. Your suggestions and advice are very welcome in the comment section. For now, I want to thank you for watching this quick update.